Y'all, I just got a $600 water and sewer bill. I mean, what the f- I wish I could say I was making that up, but I'm not. We actually got a water and sewer bill for $615. That bill is normally about 85 bucks a month. I haven't resorted to starting a grow house in my basement, so why the fork did this happen? My first thought was hopeful. I thought maybe the guy who comes to check the meter read it wrong or typed in something wrong. You know, they're human. So we came out to our front yard and checked the meter. Your meter may be in your yard like mine is. It might also be attached to your house, but it will be somewhere on the outside. And it's usually right by your water main cutoff. So we came out and read our own meter and compared it to what was on the bill and it all kind of checked out. It wasn't an error and that sucked. <laughs> We know that we don't have any obvious leaks on the inside of the house. We're here all day, we would see it. So we went around the outside of the house uh, just to make sure there's not any particularly squishy parts in the yard where maybe a hose got left on or we have a water main break. There was no sign of any of that, so then the gears really started churning. We have this toilet in our kid's bathroom that always gets stuck in the up position. The flapper always gets stuck up so that it constantly runs. I've changed the innards on it. I've lengthened and shortened the, the, the chain and it still gets stuck up all the time and we're always going in there and jiggling the handle. So our thought was, what if that toilet flapper got stuck up the entire time we were on vacation? Could that actually have done this to our water bill? My next order of business was to contact my friend Matt, who's a licensed plumber. If you're in the North Georgia area, integrated plumbing solutions, put that in your head. And because he's an awesome guy, he called me up and said, okay, a toilet can do that, but you wanna make sure that you don't have a water main break first. And here's how you do it. Turn off your main water valve where it enters the house. You really got to shut this thing as tight as you possibly can. Then go outside and see if the meter is registering. If it's not moving and registering water, then congratulations, you don't have a water main break. Yeah! Yay! That actually is a really big relief because that's an expensive one. But if it looks something like this, it's still gauging water and you're probably in some trouble. And then just for good measure, to make sure there's no unseen leaks inside the house, go turn the water back on. Don't use any water fixtures at all in the house and check the meter and see if it's gauging any water. If it's not, awesome. You might assume that if you have a water main break, it'll be really, really obvious. You'd have water pouring out of everywhere or your front yard's gonna be a mud pit or there'll be some sort of obvious sign. But in reality, water is gonna try to find any crevice it can go into first before it goes up. So you might have a water main break and have no idea until your bill comes. That toilet flapper must have gotten stuck in the upright position the entire time we were gone on vacation. And that's basically like having your faucet turned on halfway for a week straight. That can actually make your bill go up that much. Now, one other tip he gave me was to just turn off the water if we're gonna be gone for any number of days. That way, if that happens to the toilet again, it's not really an issue. And if we have a pipe burst or if our water heater decides it's her time to die, this old girl's about 16 years old, then the damage will at least be contained to whatever water is already in there. You know, I'm actually kind of ticked at myself for not having figured that one out on my own. Oh, this one hurts y'all. I'm not gonna lie. There's much better ways I can come up with to spend $600. Who's that? <laughs> I think that was my friend Christy and compared it to, really? Oh, <laughs> Dude, get out of my shot. Hi, how are you? <laughs> no, 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 go ahead, go ahead. This is what it's like to film in your front yard.